the same team. And, and so each year I think of the challenges are to make sure that you get your guys um, playing their very best, even though uh, they change a little bit each year. So I think uh, just making sure that everybody is understanding that each team is a little bit different, and we were different this year, and uh, it's worked out pretty good. Notre Dame's in the college football playoff for the first time. How have things in your profession changed in this era where you're judged so harshly by the postseason? At a Notre Dame, maybe one slip up, and you guys aren't in that bracket. Well, you have to stay so focused. Uh, on the moment. Uh, if you start thinking about two weeks down the road, three weeks down the road, uh, you're going to slip up. So I, I think that's a testament to the group that we had this year, the ability to keep away from distraction. Social media can get you distracted easily. They stayed in the moment, stayed focused, and uh, I think that's a great trait they had. You've got a good look at this trophy. You've got a coach here and three players on one knee listening with 100% attention. you got Julian Love and Drew Tranquil. Are they just like these guys on one knee, totally focused on every word you're saying? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they are what our team has been about. Um, you give them direction, um, and, and they go to work. And they have been great leaders because they take that message into the locker room, and they make sure that the guys in the locker room are on a knee listening. Congratulations, Brian Kelly has won this three times to the Irish against Clemson in Arlington. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Coming up, who will receive the Bolitnikoff Award? And later, we'll learn the name of the Maxwell Player of the Year when the Home Depot College Football Awards continue. Congratulate the students of College Station, winners of the Live Moss Student Section of the Year Award. Here to present the Bolitnikoff Award, a college and professional football Hall of Fame inductee and Florida State great, Fred Bolitnikoff. Tonight, the Bolitnikoff family and the Tallahassee Quarterback Club Foundation are happy to celebrate the 25th year of the Bolitnikoff Award. The foundation provides college and vocational scholarships to high school seniors who have overcome significant barriers to achieve at the highest academic level. It's been a great honor to be associated with such a prestigious award, and I'm proud to be here tonight to recognize the most outstanding receiver in college football. Let's take a look at this year's finalists. Such great ball skills, but the middle contested. Judy got a 94 is all the support when they come to get it. Have a chance to make sure they stay with him. He's good. On behalf of the Tallahassee Quarterback Club Foundation and its Distinguished National Selection Committee, I'm pleased to present the 25th Bolletnikoff Award to Jerry Judy of Alabama. Jerry Judy is the second player from Alabama to win the Bolletnikoff Award. He joins Crimson Tide alum Amari Cooper, who won the award in 2014. All right, Jerry, congratulations. Say hello to Fred. Awesome that Fred is here, by the way, to present this. Thank you, sir. And congratulations. Some great receivers have played at the Crimson Tide. You join Amari Cooper as the second winner of this award, representing an amazing offense. Your reaction? Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, it's a dream come true, you know. Uh, I always dreamed about something like this, but now that I'm finally here, it's an unbelievable feeling. I'm so great. thankful. The dream is real. As Amari told you how happy this is, just try to pick that up. Put your put your core into it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the heaviest award being about tonight. <laughs> Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Hey, listen, you're a Miami guy. I, I, I live down there. DeAndre Baker, a Miami guy. We're going to talk about his pride for the city. You're really hard to cover. He's hard to beat. You guys, if you squirt off right in the middle of this field, who, who, who gets open? 
Uh, I said we go back, back to back, you know. That's how we raised down there in the South. We work. It is. Let's talk about that because the Miami football culture is something amazing to see. It's produced so many great players. You, you really get turned into the tough people down there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's something in the water. <laughs> Absolutely. You, you, by the way, your quarterback down there is laughing. He's having a good time with his, his foot propped up. You had a special connection with Tua in the recruiting process. I, I'm, I'm told you, you saw this guy throw the ball and said, wait a minute now, we, we can do something with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first time I saw him was at the opening. We got to play with each other. Um, I had I had to know him at first, but when I saw him throw the ball, I like, oh, yeah, we most definitely could do something special. <laughs> How neat is it to have so many of your teammates, the Tide are all over the place tonight here, uh, up for other awards, but to, to share this moment with you? Uh, it, it's a great feeling knowing how hard we work during the off season and just, just being recognized for all the um, hard work we put in. And the work continues. You, you know where you're headed? You know where your, your next game is, by the way? Have they told you you get to go home? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great feeling going back to um, where I'm originally from um, and playing in front of my family. You got enough tickets for that game against Oklahoma? Uh, like, I got to ask my teammates. I got to ask my teammates for something. I need some too. I'm going to ask you after this. All right, Jerry Judy, winner of the Belitnikoff Award, the second winner from Alabama. Congratulations again. We'll see you down there in South Florida. Well, it's been a, a weird year. There have been many lighthearted moments, and here to put their particular spin on it are Marty and McGee. Hey, everybody, it's uh, Marty and McGee. Hello, hey, man. Uh, you know, Marty, I love major awards. I do, too. And that's why I'm excited that we're a part of these major awards tonight. I feel so fortunate. You know what else I love? What? Funny videos. I love funny videos. And uh, we have a few from the 2018 college football season. And this is BYU. Let's see it. Got a flip. See it. Oh! oh! man lost his head. Look, look at him cover up. Yeah, look at these guys. Protect the identity. You cannot see me. Do not look. It's like they think his actual head came off. It There's not. only 50,000 people in the stands. Oh, yeah. Hey, here you go. All right. There we go. Rock and Sock and Robots. Watch Coach Mullen. Mullen. Yeah. Look at these moves. Like, you get no. the hip into it. It's Felipe's like, very impressed. He's like, Felipe, no. Okay, 66. What do you think? I got this deal here. Got the Rock and Sock and deal? No? Look yeah. At, okay, now he's going. Oh, yeah, look. A little more demonstrative now. Yeah. He's, he's like, a, like, a, like, a, like a daddy, look. Yeah, you got. <laughs> Hitting Felipe. Dad, watch me. Hey, hey, watch me. Kicker, where are you at? This is Wake Forest in Notre Dame, and uh, come on, dude. What was he doing over there? One job. Watch this. And he was a little hurried on the uh, on the attempt. He was flustered for sure. Look at, hey, bro. Listen, next time you need to kick, actual kick. Uh, look at this. You like donuts? We win, we dance. Everybody likes donuts. Not as much as these. Guys. I like donuts more than oxygen. That's almost that's it's almost violent. The way they eat those donuts. It's fantastic. What is the over under on how long those donuts last? <laughs> I say 10 seconds maximum. Oh, speaking oh, of all those last, and look at this. Hey, the worst part of this is when he gets to the tunnel. Yeah. Just Hang watch on. what happens. Hang on. Oh, no. Hang I don't on. even want to watch. It looks like. Oh! Got a little back burn there. Remember when you were in Little League Baseball and you got beamed and you tried not to rub it? Yeah, look at him. I'm okay. good. I'm good. I'm good. good. Don't, don't rub it. Don't speaking, rub it. Speaking of walking it off. Uh, all right, oh, here we go. Man. Bottom 10 title contender. Uh, Rutgers, and this sums up their entire. It has to be the sickest man in America. There's a reason he plays quarterback and not wideout. Yeah, and uh, he won't be playing wideout again. Yeah, that's how you make the top four of the bottom ten. Those are the bottom four. And meanwhile, again, hey. what do you do when when the route is on? This is our guy, and the sun is out. Well, what you do is you take your shirt off, and you hang out in your in your Wranglers, and your and your uh, and you get a book. Yeah. And you enjoy the, the beautiful sunshine when you're down 50 sunshine. points. And look, he, he became a meme, like, he, almost immediately. He has a nice backrest, a big brick wall. Yeah. Let's, Let's give him a major award. That looks like a very right. relaxing day. I don't know about you guys. Well, Marty and McGee are still accepting invitations to holiday parties. Trust me, it's not going to be a fun time without those guys. And now it's time to take a look at the 2018 All-State AFCA Good Work team. One of the most coveted off-the-field honors in college football that recognizes student-athletes for dedicating their time to giving back to their community. Congrats to this year's 22 team members and honorary head coach for all they do to make a difference. For more information on the All-State AFCA Good Work team, please visit ESPN.com slash All-State.
And now it's my pleasure to welcome in Nick Wisher from Notre Dame, who was voted by the fans to be the team captain of that 22-member team. And Nick, you have an interesting story. You lost your brother Andrew when he was just 21 to cancer, but you decided to carry on his legacy. How have you been able to do that over these years? Absolutely. So before Andrew passed in 2012, he kind of brought my family and I together and asked us to pay forward the kindness and generosity that he was shown. So with that, to fulfill his last wish, we created the Andrew Wisher Foundation. And since uh, its inception in 2013, we've helped over 170 families and, and given away over $850,000 directly to families and adolescents with cancer. So it's been an unbelievable experience to be a part of something that, and to be able to put a smile on a kid's face is, you know, something that is, is just unbelievable. I know there's a lot of different families and moments that you remember uh, with your foundation, but is there one that sticks out to you? Uh, I think the, one of the most recent ones was uh, I had uh, several of my teammates come up to a local hospital in South Bend and just to have that experience and share that with them was, was really cool and um, you know they got to experience firsthand what the Andrew Wisher Foundation does and uh, just to be able to see uh, you know families and, and smiles on their faces when they're going through such a hard time. We appreciate you Nick for sharing your story and continuing to pay it forward and letting Andrew's legacy live on. We have plenty more coming from the College Football Awards right here and this is what college football is all about. Coming up he has inspired so many. I feel like I can do anything with, with all the strength you got, boss. I can do anything behind you, boss. You got it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Give me a lot of inspiration, man. Tonight, it's our turn to give back. The Disney Spirit Award winner, next.